Hi there. Today I want to show you my brand new work back from Billingham, the Eventer Mark II. So a little bit about myself first. I have been a photographer professionally for over 16 years. So camera bags are important because they need to carry my expensive gear safely and protect it from point A to point B. And some of the time, because I'm a location shooter, I actually walk with the bag. I'm just not simply transporting it from A to B, but also walking with the gear for a long, long time. So a comfortable, protective bag is always my top priority. I mentioned the word professional earlier, simply because we are different. We require different things when it comes to carrying bag compared to amateurs and casual shooters. And this is exactly the reason why I have so many other bags at home in my studio for different occasions as well. So if I'm just going casually, just doing a day walk, walk about, going street photography or going on holiday with my kids, uh, I will just carry a smaller bag because I don't need a lot of stuff and just, you know, pack as small or little as possible to save the way so I can enjoy the holiday or the day out right you know and uh, for street photography I usually carry very simple anyway just one body couple of lenses maybe and uh, and maybe have enough space for a bottle of water so one, one of those smaller bags like the Eventer Mini you know the Headley Small would be perfect for that uh, but it comes to work I need more space I need more space for lenses for laptop for chargers batteries and all kinds of you know things that I would need for the shoot and this is why I think the Eventer is the perfect fit, especially if you're using a compact camera system like the Micro Four Thirds. Ugh. Okay, winter has returned. It's so bloody cold and, and windy. Anyway, let's go back to the Eventer. I have the original for seven years and uh, it, just a brilliant bag. It hasn't failed me a single time. Uh, it's been traveling around the world with me. <laughs> so windy. And uh, it's, it's really, really awesome bag. And uh, to be quite honest, I I think it, you know, for me anyway, and uh, the Eventer has been the perfect uh, work bag for me. You know, I have a lot of Billinghams and I have a lot of other bags as well. Uh, they're good for different purposes, but when it comes to work, the Eventer. You know, it's always been Eventer. I did say to other, my, my other colleagues, saying how good it is and how I recommend it to others. Um, but when it comes to buying them, you know, I remember some of the uh, photographers that I spoke to, they said, I couldn't find the Eventers anymore because Billingham actually stopped making them a couple of years ago. So you couldn't even buy an, an Eventer. You know, like you can, the only place you can get it is secondhand or maybe some old stock some, lying somewhere in some other stores, uh, but you really can't get them anymore. So I thought, you know, that was the end of it. And for Eventer, you know, such a good bag, they discontinued it. Um, the, and they've pr continued to like, produce other uh, really lovely bags, like the, uh, the Hatley One, Hatley Pro, and all the other really gorgeous bags. And, but I thought Eventer was it, you know. But good news is that they have made the Mark II, and I have it right here. And I've been using it for about a month now, and uh, it's gorgeous, you know, it's as good as the original with some important updates, which I'm going to tell you right now. First, let's talk about what hasn't changed. Well, externally, it's still very much an eventer. They haven't changed the appearance at all, which is a good thing, because one of the main reasons I got attached to, um, to eventer, not only is practicality and how much it protects my gear, but it's also the look. It has a lot of leather there, it's very high end, it screams quality right from the start, even without touching it. And uh, in my line of work, you know, the presentation comes to a part of it because I have a lot of premium clients and uh, sometimes carrying a very functional uh, camera bag may not cut it. Um, now this is why that I use Billingham a lot, simply because it does pre um, give you that presentations. If I need to go to a smarter environment, for instance, and uh, it does really go well with uh, like the suit or smart uh, dressing that I need to sometimes. Um, uh, so this is very, very important. So the Eventer, uh, appearance is exactly the same as the old one but if you look closer that's where you start to see the differences first thing you notice is the handle which is completely redesigned from the original now it has a piece of leather that going underneath it to make it a lot more comfortable to hold when your bag gets a little heavy which often does if you're a professional like i am and then when you put extra gear extra lenses and a laptop it can get a little weighty so it's a noticeable improvement in that regard second you'll notice is the strap at the back of the bag. Well, this is in line with all the modern Billingham bags since the Hatley one. 
about a few years ago now. So all the latest bag, like the Hetley Pro 2020, Hetley One, Eventer Mini, the Hetley Small Pro, they all have this same luggage strap, which is very convenient if you travel a lot, which I do with my original Eventer. So I'm glad to see that included in the new bag. You know what? It's starting to snow, which gives me an opportunity to tell the biggest update for the Eventer Mark II. Right, the original uh, Eventer has really one of the best uh, quality zips that I've ever used in any bags. Yeah? It has the YKK brass zips, which is fantastic, very smooth. It's just robust, it just never fails. But there are a couple of places that are actually exposed to the elements, even though the bag is completely waterproof, the back zips and also the size of the zips um, uh, in the main compartment. Not that I ever experienced any water ingress into the bag, or anything like that but having the stormproof zip now does give me the extra protection and the extra peace of mind because it's starting to get really windy and really uh, the snow is starting to hit my face now but anyway so it does give me the extra protection that i needed um to hear and uh yeah it's really good it's just to me it just really take the uh, weatherproofness to the next level for the event of mark ii <laughs> So the Eventer Mark II is a very well put together, high quality, well presented, robust and versatile bag for any professional and enthusiast alike. And this bag I carry out for my professional shoot yesterday, it has a OM1 full lenses together with my vlogging mic, uh, the new power charger with power bank and also extra battery, hand sanitizers, tissues, blowers and, and lens wipe and still have room for more. Uh, so this is how in, like, important to me to carry, you know, just a little bit more for my, uh, for my shoot, for instance, and how versatile this is uh, without sacrificing the presentation, like I mentioned, and also the, the, the protection that offers from this bag. So the question is, should you invest in an Eventer Mark II? Well, if you have the Mark I, it's a simple no, because externally and internally are basically the same. There's nothing changes there and I don't think you should worry about it too much. It still has the same look, it fits about the same stuff. <laughs> That's it, you know, really simple. I know there are some cool updates like the zip, the handles are really cool to have, but they're not critical enough for you to upgrade to the Mark II. However, if you have a small Billingham, you want a bigger one to carry more stuff, or if you're a professional photographer, uh, enthusiast who need a bigger bag to carry more gear uh, with the versatility, the robustness, the waterproofness that will last forever, then the Eventer Mark II will be the solution for you. As I can demonstrate it, that my original Mark I has lasted me for seven years and still going extremely strong. And my oldest Billingham has been around for 15 years since the beginning of my career and it's still going strong. So this shows you the quality of Billingham and uh, the, 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 the forever quality that, <laughs> that, that presented with the, the way they make the bag and also the material that they choose to use. So this is simple. And uh, this is why I always recommend Billingham even though they are a little bit costly and I know that, um, but it doesn't get away the fact that they are very good. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed this review and let me know your thoughts about the Eventer Mark II. And uh, if you want to know more about stuff, please leave some comments down below and give me a thumb if you enjoyed this video and sub to stay tuned for more photography, bags, filmmakings, anything to do with the creative mind. Until next time, peace. Oh my God, what happened? What happened? It's so bright. First of all, a little introduction here. I'm a professional photographer for over 16 years. So bags are important to me. But as you all know as well, you've been following this channel long enough that I am a Billingham fan, not just a little one, but a big one. So I do have a lot of Billinghams and I can talk about all of them. If you haven't seen one of the videos that I did with another giant Billingham, bag fan uh yeah the video link is up here but anyway today is all about the eventer mark ii i do have the original eventer so i can tell you all about it uh, and compare between the two and why the new update is very good not only that why you should invest in a billing and bag because they are an investment they last 
a last and last and they just would not break whatsoever so let's get to it starting to snow